a back and forth battle between the state of Texas, aggressive initiatives to increase border security, and the federal government trying to stop them. Monday, the Supreme Court ruled the federal government remains supreme. The courts weren't willing to reverse 200 years of immigration policy on this issue. In a five to four decision, the Supreme Court is temporarily allowing Border Patrol agents to cut and remove about 30 miles of razor wire installed by Texas law enforcement along the Rio Grande. This is a federal power, and although the federal government is not getting a lot of gold stars on this issue, it is still their responsibility. And this order sets a new standard as to what Texas can do regarding securing the border. A question in every other case after this is going to be, is our situation like the fence? Is it more like the fence or less like the fence? And the more you can analogize it to a fence, the more likely it is that the reasoning behind this order is what will control that situation. And that's going to be the, the challenge for lawyers on both sides is making things appear to be or not be like this particular fence. Governor Greg Abbott and Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton say they'll continue to fight in court to keep that razor wire up. Ken Paxton says this is not over. And so he has to decide what is his next step and what is he able to do under these new constraints. Meanwhile, senators are working on a deal to secure the southern border. They say they're close but aren't quite finished yet. We're working hard on a bipartisan basis to try to come up with a piece of legislation that will actually help begin to solve this crisis at the border.